Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I had a piece of scrap pallet wood and an old log and I thought it'd be a great idea to make a ladybird hotel. So the first thing I did was uh, to mark up the log and uh, I'm then going to cut it with the, uh, the mitre saw to the appropriate length. So I started off with the mitre saw cutting it and it was a bit thick so um, I couldn't get quite the way through it. So um, after this, I used a handsaw to finish it off. So I thought it was a great idea to make one at this time of year, because as the summer is coming to an end and the autumn is starting, um, ladybirds are looking for somewhere to hibernate for the winter time. So uh, this, in other words, attracts ladybirds into your garden. And um, that is great for gardeners because they are a natural predator in the garden. So they eat things like aphids and other pests. So if you're growing stuff in your garden, then um, you're, you're probably gonna find ladybirds to be beneficial. So here I'm just marking up uh, on the pallet wood, the, um, the top and bottom. So there's two pieces for the top, which is the roof, and then one piece for the bottom. So as you can see, the uh, the roof one piece is longer than the other, so that when they're put together, they match up perfectly. So to assemble the roof, I just glued and uh, screwed the two pieces together, and um, I piloted the holes, and in all I used three screws. So then I took the roof and I used that as a sort of template to work out where I needed to cut the log so that the log would fit into the roof section. And I just marked up those lines with a pencil. So then I just clamped the log and uh, used a handsaw to cut off those pieces. So to paint the uh, the roof and the base, um, I was thinking about using a fence stain, but I did have some of this leftover grey gloss, so I thought that would look nice, and it's quite hard wearing as well. So um, I covered the roof and the base with grey gloss. Luckily, because it was such a a hot sunny day, the gloss dried quick. So if you're going to use a water, like an oil-based gloss, I wouldn't recommend it in cold weather. I'd only recommend it in like on a nice hot day so that it dries really fast. Because usually it can take even up to, even up to 24 hours to dry. So um, to drill the holes where the uh, the ladybirds will go into. I used quite a large drill bit and I marked it with a, a piece of paper just so that I could get all the holes an equal length and so that I didn't go through the other side.
So once I'd done all that, um, I used a countersink and I went round every hole and just countersunk them and this will make it easier for the ladybird to crawl into the hole. So now I just wanted to make a couple of um, wooden ladybirds to go on the uh, on the hotel and I just took a branch from a tree, a small branch and just cut a couple of sections and then sanded them with some really coarse sandpaper. And I used some red acrylic paint. I then took a marker pen, a permanent marker pen, and just drew out um, a sort of cartoon ladybird. And this is just cosmetic. So to attach them, I used a very small drill bit just to pilot them first so that they don't, they don't crack and then just two small nails to attach them. To put the base on, um, I just got it roughly where I wanted it and uh, I used a screw in the center. I then piloted another four holes and added some uh, ring nails which I'd got out of some pallets and this isn't really necessary um, I just ha I've just got loads of them so I thought it would be a good way to use them up so now it was just time for the roof to go on so I just lined it up and I drilled two pilot holes and attached it with two screws. Uh, I then added a small metal bracket just so that I could attach it to um, the base of a tree. So there it was all finished. Uh, the only thing left to do was now to hang it up. And the best place I've read to hang them up is um, at the base of a tree trunk or in some bushes, um, a quiet place. So at the base of a tree trunk, a couple of feet from the ground, So if you found this video useful, please uh, drop me a like and also comment. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.